What's up guys? So today we got final edition Haha -ha Clinton Dix 98 overall dual style zone defense run stuff style. 6 foot 1, 96 speed, 96 excel, 87 man, 99 hit power, 92 pursuit, 89 tackle, 91 play rec, and 95 zone. Also has a very nice 86 catch and a 91 jump, which is not the best, but believe me, the way he was playing, you wouldn't even believe that he had 91 jump. But anyways, enough about the stats. Let me show you what he did on the field. So the first thing I tested out was his zone coverage. Easily one of the most aggressive uh, safeties in the game when it comes to, you know, you know, just fighting for that ball when it's in the air, man. The guy is just completely aggressive, as you can see here. And even though he dropped the pick right there, like in the moment, like you're disappointed. But, you know, when it's all said and done, you look back at it and realize that it was a good play. You know, he did break up the pass when it's all said and done. And he's only got a 91 jump. But as you can see here, man, the guy can get up there. The guy can jump and fight for the deep ball, as you can see right here. Also, something else, uh, something I tested out, the deep ball was very great at stopping the deep pass, which is something, once again, you need, especially in this uh, game, man. So many guys want to use the aggressive catch, so it's nice to have a safety that can stop the deep balls and also plop the ball up a lot and give your safeties or corners or whoever it is that's there a chance to pick it off, as you can see here. So, definitely very reliable in the deep ball game, so always good to see. Now, as far as the hit sticks go, you know, I believe he only got like five or six hit sticks as you can see right here. Unfortunately, it, there were zero fumbles, but the only silver lining here, of course, is that at least you're getting the guaranteed tackle. So, I'm not saying that he's never going to cause fumbles, but unfortunately, I just don't know if it's something that you're going to see a lot. But this right here was fun to do, shooting the gaps. You can definitely use your rim to blow up the, uh, the quarterback sneak or just blow up runs in the backfield like this right here. And... I said earlier, great at catching the pass, man. Look at this ball. It bounces on his shoulder, on his calf, and he has the awareness to pick it up at the last second. He can pull off, pull off the Odell catch like this, man. So trust me, the guy was getting amazing catches for me over and over again. And, you know, it got to the point where when my opponents saw that, you know, how effective he was at catching the uh, the deep ball, believe me, they stopped targeting his side of the field in terms of the deep ball. So that's just one more you know extra bonus and just sold me on keeping him I had Brian Dawkins there I got rid of him for Clint Dix and I'm not going back but of course as well as he played man he did have his bad moments here and there but guys I did play about three full seasons with him and I only got like five or six bad plays that is phenomenal man that is one of the best um, performances I've seen from a safety ever and when you know in any of my reviews to go three seasons and only have like five or six bad plays the entire season so very glad to see that he, that he only had like five or six of uh, bad moments. But by far what he did best was this right here, man. Tackling. One of the best tackling safeties in the game. The pursuit is just amazing. The tackling is even better. I've said it before. Your safeties are your last line of defense. If they get past your linebackers, you got to lean on your safeties. And trust me, he came through in the clutch so many times. I mean, look at this right here. Shot the gap, man. Well, not shot the gap, but he um, chased him down right there. A clutch fourth down. He chased him down right here. You know, last line of defense, and he stopped him. So, very, very glad to see this. He's absolutely, in my opinion, after playing with him, a top five safety. Now, I do, you know, I understand I've not played with that many safeties, but I know a top five safety when I see it. I can just, you know, he was stopping all the big time guys Eric Dirksen, Marcus Allen, um, the new Clean Porters, DeMarco Murray. I'm going up against all these guys all the time. He's stopping them consistently, man. So, I absolutely recommend trying out Clean Dix if you need a good uh, run stop. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this review. My final thoughts, do I think he's worth 170000 I feel like maybe he's worth one fifty, but I feel that one seventy is obviously not that far off. And not to mention, uh, the weekend is coming up, so his price might drop a bit, possibly to you know, 150 or even 140 or lower. Who knows? So if you want to pick him up, this weekend might be the best time to do it. And also, I did say he is a top five safety and granted I have not played with that many free safeties but I know a top talent when I see it and since I'm always going up against these big time running backs and these big time receivers and he's always stopping them on a consistent basis you know to me that sold me on him right there I had Brian Dawkins he was great but I just feel Clint Dix is even better so if you have not picked him up I definitely um, you know give him a shot so anyways guys my next review on offense is going to be blunt I'm almost done with him so his review should be out tomorrow on defense i'm not sure who i'm going to review next i gotta go through all the player requests and whatnot but anyways guys i will definitely announce the next defensive player when i review blunt but anyways guys don't forget to like comment subscribe and i will see y'all boys for those reviews peace